Hello everyone, Zero here. Today I'm gonna to show off how to modify the tech tree. So if you go into your app data folder, you can find star drive uh, and then text and tech tree. And uh, I'm gonna open it up in Excel. You can just drag it into Excel. All right. Um, and we can open up these columns so we can take a look at what we're seeing, all right? So the way it works is that uh, each level of the tech tree is listed here as you know construction with its number, um, and then the future construction is is the X, right? Then biochem zero through nine, socioeconomic, etc. Then across the top we've got the cost for each level. We've got the uh, advanced uh, UID. Now this applies to um, things that aren't modules, buildings, skill sets, um, all right? So these are more like polymer armor adds true pit points 10, all right? So you can see how this is set out, all right? We've got advances, buildings, module sets, ground combat sets. And then uh, these last four columns are associated with, um, with the advanced column. So let's just look at like maybe just adding a building, okay? Let's start with a building. Um, well, let's, we have some space here in the, uh, the first level of construction. So let's call our building the mod forum. All right, bam, I just added it in there. Um, and now I need to do a couple other things to get this up and running, all right? So I'm gonna go back into my app data folder. I'm gonna go into buildings. I'm gonna open up the buildings file and I can just add in a new entry. We're gonna call it mod forum. And uh, it's just gonna be like a copy of the arrow farm, all right? But um, flat, it provides flat food. It has a maintenance cost here. And you can go through and see what each of these buildings do. I mean, you know what they do in game. So you can see what's available to you. And if you wanna have some more hooks available, I can code some things in. Okay, but we go back here. We, we also need to add a texture. Um, let's just copy the arrow form. We'll call it mod forum. It's gotta match the name exactly, okay? And let's just, uh, let's open that in Photoshop real quick. This is what the mod form looks like. Okay, great. So now we've got our texture. And then the last thing we need to do is just go into um, the miscellaneous loc kit file. It's the localization kit. And um, we can go down to the very bottom. And this is all messy looking. Why don't we just open it up in Excel, actually? Um, it's easier to work with in Excel. All right, just drag it in here. And we can go down. Now we can just add. Um, now the way it works is that there's three text descriptions for a building. You've got the building underscore mod form. That's the unique identifier name. So it's going to be the modders modders forum. All right, and then we have the uh, description. This is like a short description that appears in the build queue. A place for modders to hang out. And then. Uh, we have the details, which is like the more detailed description that appears in, uh, like in when you hover over it in the build queue. We're gonna do birdie bloody 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 blah 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 blah. Okay. Now we just want to save this. You gotta save it as Unicode text, and then just close out. Usually, I when I, I save it with Control S, and then don't save when I close this because I don't want Excel to be like messing with my file formatting. Just keep it as Unicode. Okay, so this is all set too. We can save out uh, save out this Excel file. And um, now we can boot into Star Drive. Just close this off. All right, we're uh, here in Star Drive now. We can just load up a game and I'm gonna turn on the debug mode real quick so we can just check that our new building is present in uh, the tech tree and in the, the building queue. So we can just do a quick test here. So uh, let's look at the tech tree. Uh, there's the modders forum with our awesome graphic and description. And uh, if we want to go ahead and check out in the build queue, there it is. So that's really easy. All right. Um, 
Let's take a look now at how to mod uh, mod anim a set of, of modules, our ship modules. So let's go back to our tech tree. And uh, I'll open it back up in um, All right, open up our tech tree. I'm gonna take out the mod form so as I don't distribute that out there. Now, if we look here at the module set UID, now first I just wanna re-emphasize one thing before uh, before I continue here. Uh, let's go back to the the miscellaneous, or no, sorry, uh, sorry, to miscellaneous, the look kit, all right? It's really critical that when you are naming you know, when you're putting the names for things in here that you follow the naming conventions. So this is, all right, this is the name of the building, the mod form. And then Star Drive 2 looks into this file and pulls it out in the format of building underscore the name of the building underscore name. All right, that's the name. And then the DESC desk is for the short description and underscore details. Now that same format is used for, um, for module sets, okay? So we can look in here. Um, we've got to say the module set UID is Plasteel Armor, right? Plasteel. Um, I don't think I, I have a place to put something that. All right. So what we're going to do is just we're going to play pretend here. I'm not going to actually put one in the game, but it works the exact same way as the buildings. So we can go into uh, the modules folder. All right. And we can see there's two folders here: module sets and module headers, right? So if we look at the Plasteel module set, all right, this is the same UID as appears here in the uh, the tech tree. We can open it up and we can see that the modules and set, it provides three three sets of, or three modules, Plasteel Armor 3x3, three three, Plasteel Armor 2x2, two two, Plasteel Armor 1x1, one one, okay? And if we go now into the actual textures, we can find uh, those textures listed by name, all right? Um, Plasteel one by one, two by two, three by three, right? You can see the sizes there. Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's 48 uh, pixels per block, all right? So just keep that in mind when you're making your textures. And then if we go into module headers, we're gonna find an individual module file for each of the uh, items listed as a module and set, okay? So we can go down here and find Plasteel uh, one by one. We can open that up and then here's the data for that. All right, so it's a one by one module. It's got two mass, 1500 health, uh, 1500 health max. It's got some variants available to it. If you just explore these files, you'll get a, a feel for what types of things are available uh, for you to mod from these for these ship modules. All right, and then when you go back into the, the last thing you need to do is you just need to add a few uh, entries here in the load kit. Let me look up one that exists. Okay, so here's the disruptor cannons. All right, or let's just find the plasteel ones so we can look at it specifically. Um, all right, so here's mod set underscore plaid. That's the the, pre the prefix is mod set underscore, and then the UID for the module set is plasteel. All right, and then we have name, desk, and details. So the name is plasteel armor. The short description is stronger than steel, stronger than steel and less massive, and the details is uh, a law. You know that's sort of the lore text. Right. So if you add an entry for your module into the, the load kit, and then you make sure that uh, the entry is listed here somewhere as an unlock. And uh, finally, you make sure that the, uh, that the module header files are created and that there's a module set that corresponds to the entry in the, as in the mod set, uh, module set UID in the tech tree. Right, that, so that's what it takes. It's a little bit more complicated than adding a building because there's some sep, you know, several sep, uh, separate files here, mod sets and mod headers, but it all kind of follows that same basic format of there's a unique identifier for, uh, for each module and for each module set. Now something that's a little bit more difficult is to add an entire level to the tech tree. So we can just do that here. Uh, let's go ahead and insert a new row and we'll call it uh, construction 11 back up insert a new row I don't want to cut anything just insert and then we'll copy come on now 
copy, paste, call it construction 11. And we can give it a cost of like 7,500. All right, and um, let's just take an existing module set. Uh, we'll take, actually I still got all the stuff in there for, um, for the mod form. So let's just add the mod form building here. Now, we need to go back to the load kit. This is this will just work automatically, but one thing we need to make sure of is to go back to our localization kit because uh, if we, we want to make sure that the text appears properly in game for this. So again, it's in miscellaneous. Let's open up the localization kit and we can just do a, a quick search for, um, where am I? Yeah, that's right. A quick search for construction underscore there's an entry here. Okay, you can see down here there's some entries that follow the same naming convention as in the um, as in the tech tree. All right, so construction OO has an entry in the in the uh, load kit called you know construction OO, and we could just go in here. It actually looks like there's a convenient space in there. Um, maybe it looks like the Russian and French versions are messed up. Ooh, fix that. Nice. Okay, fixing bugs. Look at that. All right, so we can go down here, make a construction 11, um, mod forum. Oh, let's see, mod, we'll call this mod construction. Great, that's it, we're done. Uh, we're gonna add that into the game. It, it's, it's all in place now. So let me close everything up and I'm gonna boot in to star drive and we'll just verify that, it, that it's all working. Okay, we're back in Star Drive 2 now, and we can look into our construction tech tree, and I'm looking to find that new tech level we just added, Modders Forum. There it is, uh, under the mod construction. So we, we added the mod construction entry into the tech tree in the look kit. We added the building, um, and now here's how we unlock the whole thing. Okay, there's a few other things we can add, and they have basically worked the exact same way. Um, let's close this out. We can go back into our tech tree one last time. All right, and uh, the last thing that you're gonna really wanna probably add into the game, I'd, let's ignore the ground set, the ground skills for now, because a lot of those are, are hard coded. All right, um, you can add an advance. All right, now the advances are mostly, they're hard coded. All right, so these are things like if you want ships to go faster or you wanna add research for scientists, you can do some stuff like that here. I'm gonna have to add some more hooks as you get creative with your mods. But the way it works here is uh, you can have up to two advances in any, um, in any given tech level, all right? So, uh, for instance, let's look at um, miniaturization, all right? This goes uh, over here, if we look down at the advance one instruction, so we have two advances here. Miniaturization is advance one, comma, advance two is alloy tempering. If we look over here, we can see the advance one instru instruction is mass reduction, minus 0.25. That's like 25% mass reduction for all ship modules. And advanced two, which is alloy tempering, module HP mod, advanced value is 0.2, so a 20% hit point uh, mod for all um, ship modules. All right, so there's these, you can see the keywords, all right, and what they do, and you can deduce how they function. All right, so a lot of these are, are hard coded. I can add more if you formulate a list on the mod form, but um, you would still want to go ahead and put these entries into the load kit the same way you did the other way, uh, the other ones. So if we can just go take a look at that, um, we'll go into miscellaneous, pop open the load kit, and we'll let's look up uh, miniaturization. Oh, come on, what's going on here? Oh, oh Jesus! All right, so let's look up miniaturization. Uh, so the, with advances, there's no short description. It's just advance underscore the UID underscore name 
and details for the lore. All right. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about before I finish this video is um, right now you have to go ahead and add the entries to this big localization kit file. All right. But in the future, that's not going to be necessary. You, you can, uh, you'll be able to, to rip out, uh, just to make a smaller localization file that you can distribute with your mod. That's something I'll work on uh, in, a, in a coming days. Um, so that, and I'll also add this, this uh, functionality, everything you've seen here, um, you'll be able to upload it with the workshop mod manager. So give me a couple days to work on this, but I know you guys have been asking how do I do it, and this is how you do it. So, um, you can play with it for now, and then I'll come back next week with another video about how you can uh, actually get this this stuff prepared uh, and integrated with the Steam Workshop. So until then, uh, this has been Zero, and I'll talk to you soon.